The origin of the Batman Who Laughs starts on Negative Earth 22. We see that the Joker has Batman weakened by drugging him. However, the drug affects him physically, but his mentals are fine. The Joker wants Batman to react to everything he has done and will be doing. In this storyline, the Joker has been blowing up multiple hospitals and killing off Batman's villains, like Killer Croc, Catwoman, and Penguin. He even tells Batman how he tortured and killed Jim Gordon. The Joker then proceeds to recreate the death of Bruce's parents by murdering a little girl's parents and then Jokerizing the same little girl all in front of Bruce. The Joker seems to be doing all this so that Batman finally snaps and kills him. That is his main goal, and this time he accomplishes it. As Batman puts the Joker in the headlock, breaking his neck in the process, just as the Joker dies, a gas is released from the Joker's mouth, which Batman inhales. After two days, Batman and Superman investigate why Joker was being crazier than usual and figure out that the chemicals that made the Joker the Joker were actually killing him and making him push things too far. Superman mentions that a Jokerized little girl tried to bite the throat of her psychologist. Weirdly enough, Batman hears this and laughs, which leaves both Batman and Superman confused. Three days after that, Batman gathers Jason, Dick, Tim, and Barbara and explains that he's been infected by the Joker's gas when killed him. He tells them that if the gas fully takes effect, his tactical and highly ordered mind will remain, but it will be merged with something very evil. When everyone lets Bruce know that they're here to help him and will find a way to cure him, Batman tells them that the real reason he gathered them here today is that he knew that they would be the first ones to notice he's changing, and he needed to kill them. Batman then pulls out machine guns and murders the entire Bat family. One week later, we see that Batman has killed most of the Justice League with only Superman barely alive. Bruce tells him that he is disappointed that out of all the ways he could have killed Superman, he only gets to try one. Superman sees that Batman has brought his wife and son to the Watchtower. Once Clark tries to protect his family, Batman throws black kryptonite at him, making him go insane and killing his own son and wife. As time passed, the Batman who laughs only got more and more powerful. He met Barbados, a demonic entity from the Dark Multiverse, who showed him many other worlds where heroes were still alive for the Batman who laughs to kill. At the end of this issue, we see the Batman who laughs talking to a mysterious person across the table. He tells this person that it was right for the Joker to think that a combination of Batman and him was necessary. As he unveils his diabolical plans to this mystery person, Bruce says that the best is yet to come, for a Batman who laughs is a Batman who wins and countless evil versions of superheroes are shown at the very end. The Batman who laughs just says, they're coming. <laughs>